Hi, this is Steve DeMott for Production Expert with a quick tip for getting a basic mix balance using just clip gain to gain stage your tracks before moving any faders or adding any plugins. I start all my mixes this way because I find it gets me into my mix faster and it only takes a couple of minutes at the start of the project. The idea comes from the days of gain staging analog equipment. We used to try to optimize the gain stage of our equipment for two main reasons. The first was to maximize signal to noise ratio. The second was to maximize the efficiency of the console's faders. Faders are logarithmic, which means the farther from unity, or zero, you move the fader, the bigger the difference each small fader move makes. Or in other words, a tiny movement of the fader up near unity yields much finer control than the same small movement farther down the fader's throw. So while this was originally meant to work around limitations in the hardware, there are still benefits in the digital realm. Plugins tend to react better with a signal near Unity, especially the analog modeling plugins. They're usually created to deliver their best modeled tones with a healthy signal near Unity. And since the inserts are pre-fader, this is your chance to optimize the gain going into your plugins. Of course, there's also the speed benefit, as this can really help get a basic mix together fast. So here's what I do. I'm in Pro Tools, and I'm going to be using the Shift-S keyboard shortcut to quickly solo and unsolo selected tracks, and then adjust each track's gain using the clip gain fader in the lower part of the waveform display. Your DAW may look different or have different shortcuts, but most DAWs these days do have some form of clip gain control. So I'm going to start by selecting and soloing my drum tracks, starting playback, and then very quickly adjusting clip gains to achieve a rough balance. I'm moving quickly and just trying to get a very basic balance. I'm not getting bogged down in details. So let's go ahead and let's add the bass guitar and tuck it in where it feels good. Again, we're just going to tuck it down and not look for perfection. Right, we're just looking to get a basic balance. So let's move on and uh, add this rhythm guitar. about there I guess. So let's uh, go ahead and select the second rhythm guitar and add that one in too. Let's take a listen. All right and then uh, we've got a little lead guitar down here. Let's um, go ahead and add that to our selection. Solo those and tuck that in. Bring that down. And there you go. In under two minutes, I've achieved a very rough balance of the instrumental part of this mix. I would then go on to vocals, and when done with that, I could move on to mixing, knowing that I'm starting with properly gained tracks that are already somewhat balanced. This always speeds up the mixing phase for me, and I hope it does for you too.